Hello friends, my name is Dave. Thank you for joining me on this fragrance hobby and also on the journey of trying to make this channel better and better each time. Thank you for coming along. As you can see right here, I have a um, little review for the Frank, uh, the house of Frank Olivier. Now, the first experience I have was with Black Touch. To be honest, when I first got it, I was not used to fragrance that much. And I hated it. I absolutely hated it. But then after a couple of years of not using it, I become more, more used to fragrances, especially the more darker fragrance. And I smelled this again and I fell in love with it. So much that I got a backup bottle. And to be honest, it is the best of the whole house. And uh, you know, in my opinion, okay, for sure. And it is one of the very best of my whole collection. For me, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Now, you know, scent is subjective, okay? So if you don't agree with it, don't crucify me. Now, today I will be talking about the, from the same house, it's gonna be Uwe Nee. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up right now is because I saw on our fragrancebuy.ca, they're re releasing this one again. Now, because my channel is new, so it's a lot of decision of to find which fragrance I should review first. So one of the things I do is I'll go online to see, you know, what are some of the sales, right? Or some of the new releases or what fragrance are being released re -release again. And that's why I get the idea what you guys might be interested in because I have so many in my collection that um, I just have to make sure you guys will be interested and the timing is very important, right? So here it is. Now I'm going to uh, decide to do a um, side by side. Okay, I'll, ex I'll spray first and I'll explain. So one, two sprays. Now the other one is going to be comparing to the Mancera Auvni. Okay. So Mancera is called Au with an A, Vini, Vinyl. The Frank Olivia is going to be U, Vinyl. Both meaning the same, okay. So I'm just going to call Frank and Mancera. All right. Right away, the first uh, spray top notes, you're going to tell the two are going to different direction because Mancera is going to punch you in the nose. It absolutely is dense. The oo in there, the vanilla in there is punching me in the nose right now. While Frank is hollow, is airy, is on the lighter side. Okay. The scent is there, the scent profile is, is strong in there. But then if you can imagine like a balloon, Frank is like a balloon. It's empty inside. You can see the coloration on the, the surface, but this is feel airy. One Mancera is a bowling ball. It's gonna hit you hard. And some might say it's a bit harsh, but yeah, it is harsh. While Uwe Nee, I'm sorry, while Frank is gonna be on the lighter side, so it doesn't feel as brash, as um, harsh. But Mancera, it just, to be honest, it's, it's a killer. It's, it really, really is. If you're new to the fragrance hobby, I don't know how much you're gonna be able to take this, okay? Unless you're brave. There is vanilla inside Mancera. I'm sorry, you know, I should stop talking about Mancera. Let me get back to Frank, okay? Frank. Frank is hollow, it's airy, like I say. And the notes in there, there are, other than vanilla and the wood, there's also smoke and there's rose and caramel. So if you could picture all these uh, notes combining together, okay? There's also spice with patchouli, with raspberry, musk, um, jasmine, violet, and orange. With all those notes, um, you might be able to pick out some of them if you really dig into it. But what I'm picking up the most, the most dominant notes are the vanilla and the incense. I'm sorry, smoke and incense, okay? It should be incense and the woody notes and rose and some caramel okay but vanilla is coming out strong with the incense so i guess it would make sense you know incense is airy right incense is uh, a light smoke while the mancera does not have the incense note it's gonna be filled with the vanilla and agarwood and black pepper and saffron all those are powerful notes so it's not a fair comparison, but because of the name are the same, I just wanted to know, you know, the differences in the spectrum, even though the notes are pretty close and they're the same name, 
but you know it, it's in totally different direction the frank is more uh, even though it's airy or hollow doesn't sound good but it has uh, its place meaning when you just want to relax you don't want anything you know that's gonna offend people you know you might go with this and um, you don't want something too dense uh, all the time right so that's when you use the Frank Olivier. Now a lot of people is going to be um, not used to this the note of wood. Okay, so be keep that in mind as you decide where you're going to wear this and who you're going to meet. All right. So yeah, for sure if you hang out at home, go ahead and enjoy yourself. But if you're going to wear this to either school, for office, or meetings, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, just keep this in mind. You make your own decision, right? But for me, you know, it, it's going to be hard for me because I know that even though it does have the vanilla scent, it does have those raspberry, those um, caramel, but the ooh is going to be strong in there. So get used to it first, okay? When I first got it, uh, the, the Frank Olivier, I, I didn't like it. I mean, it was, I thought it was too harsh and brash, especially I was comparing um, to the other uh, fragrances. And also I was thinking about Tom Ford. They have a, a vanilla uh, a scent. That is so famous and i thought it's gonna be a clone or something so when i first sprayed it i have too much expectation for this um uh 15 20 frank olivia scent so keep that in mind it is a budgeted um uh, fragrance with that said though i have a lot from this house because after i black uh bought black touch i i kind of fell in love with it so i bought a lot more and all of them are most of them are decent there's nothing bad about it of any of these scents and they do try to clone some of the more um, popular uh, fragrance out there but some are really nice so with that in mind you know you have to keep the price in your mind when you try to judge this for 15 to 20 dollar scent this is great because i have experience with a lot of um 15 dollar 20 cent i'm sorry 15 dollar and 20 dollar cents that are just they are just really really terrible i don't want to name names but they're just not worth your time but this one absolutely worth your time if you want to look for a budgeted uh, good fragrance to try it that's not going to break your bank and it's a safe blind buy i have no place to try this uh this brand anywhere near me so um if you have that problem you know go on review and then see what if it's going to suit you or not but uh, i'm telling you it's a uh, it's not a super safe blind buy but as far as price wise you know if you can afford it go right ahead this is um this is not too expensive for you to um give it a try if you're beginning to the wood on uh, the scent of wood the wood profile scent this is a nice beginner's touch all right it's going to help you because all the sweet notes all this raspberry orange and caramel it's going to help you to transition into more of a niche type of um, um, uh, fragrance, okay? Now, um, what else? So the age group definitely mature. The situation where you can wear this definitely not very versatile because the wool scent. It is a nice scent. Just keep in mind, it's just the, the note of wood is hard for a lot of people. And uh, what else? Um, so for me, this is a great buy. If I had to get a great considering the price, okay, it's gonna be eight out of 10 for sure. Now, Black Touch for me is a 10 out of 10. There's something about it that is uh, so good. But Woo is more of a tamed, more of a enjoyable, more of an easier sense comparing to Black Touch. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, review and um, hope it's helpful. And uh, as always, I really, really appreciate you watching and um, see you next time.